Hey, ben, yeah. kind of saw, um, you know, Kyle in the first half of the season, Patrick second half of the season. I know that you know, they practice all the time. What do you, what do you think those two guys are at, kind of battling for that number three thing? Well, I think uh, first uh, starting off with uh, with PT. I mean, he's looked like he's moved around a lot better, you know, so far in um, you know in OTAs and in uh, the phase two um, part of things. And I think that you know for him, you know, just getting his getting his feet wet. You know, last year, um, coming off the uh, the injuries from that first year, so I think he's got a better feel for you know what's going on, and which I think that's going to help him. And then with Kylan, um, it's too bad like with the injury, but he's been you know working his tail off. He looks good uh, physically, and from what I understand, he's moving in the right direction. So uh, I guess it's one of those deals you really won't learn anything until we get into training camp. You know, in terms of battling for that and seeing what everybody has. You know, what did Patrick trade in that Detroit game? I'm, I, I don't know what your expectations were, but he didn't seem like he had the world's greatest training camp or preseason, and then he comes out of nowhere in the last game and really, really was fantastic for you. Yeah, man, I think the biggest thing with that game, he was running with more authority, and that's something that we had talked about um, in the previous games that he's played in. Not that he'd gotten a ton of reps in those games. I think the Minnesota game was the other game that he got a lot of reps in. And I just talked to him about, man, you need to you know run with a lot more authority. and not the, uh, I think you saw glimpses of that. He had the one run um, on the sideline where he put his, you know, you know, he put his foot down, dropped his pads, and everybody on the sideline erupted. So I think that that's the biggest thing that I saw is that he does have that ability to, you know, play more physical, play with more urgency, and play with more authority. And I think that's something that just he's just going to uh, piggyback off of that going on into this season. Can uh, B.J. Baylor catch? Because he had a, a year as a runner last year, but they didn't yeah. throw him the ball much. Yeah, I mean, you can see um, he's got glimpses of where he can, you know, put his hands around the ball. I think he needs to, you know, some of the things that I talked to him about was being able to catch the ball a little bit more away from his body. So once we start our jugs rotation um, that we utilize with, with all the running backs, um, I'll have a better feel for that, his ability to catch the ball. Ben, what did you think of just how Aaron and AJ kind of played off of each other? I know Aaron obviously had that you know, relationship with Jamal for all those years. But in terms of the one-two and the potential there, just how did you feel they, they sort of meshed that first year? And what do you think about, you know, potentially taking that next I think step? that, you know, really from that standpoint, as it relates to both of those guys, that, you know, AJ just picked off, uh, picked up where I, where um, Jamal left off. I mean, their, their relationship has been good. Um, we've been trying to utilize them, you know, in that same role that we had Jamal. I mean, obviously, when you look back at it, I know um, Aaron, uh, got injured and missed a, a few games this year, but you know AJ ended up leading us in, in rushing and having more carries as as part of that. So I think they I think they feed off each other pretty well. It's kind of a luxury because you can keep them both fresh throughout the game, and then towards the end, you can either you know throw AJ in there to to pound and wear the defense down, or you know put Aaron in there. Then all of a sudden their defense is worn down. It's an explosive play. Um, so I think having a, a blend of both of those guys that will that will continue um, throughout uh, this upcoming season. You know, AJ didn't have a lot of explosive runs last year. I mean, he had a bunch of. I mean, he consistently got really good yards, but didn't really break out too much. Um, how do you get to that next step with him? I think it's it's something that you know the biggest thing we talked about with those is there were some opportunities right there that we missed on that could have been big explosive runs, and I think it, for us it's. You know, making sure that everything's put together from our, you know, our details, you know, footwork, those things that could have led to bigger plays by him. Um, he's got that type of ability because he can actually make you miss, you know, in the open field. You saw it thinking about plays like the Chicago run, you know, uh, that he had. Um, he's got, he's faster than what most people think. Um, he's got the ability to, you know, to put a little juke on you, even for a guy his size. Um, so it's really just bringing all those different, uh, facets of his game, just bringing all those attributes together and let him apply them because I, I think he will have more explosive runs this year. And if I can go back to Kylan for a second, you know, when you have a rookie like that that kind of shows something but then has a significant injury like that, what, what is the role then trying to keep him in his mind kind of back in this game while also having to go through the, the rehab side of it, you know, continuing with his, his development? I think for him, he's, he's done a, a great job really of doing more with trying to learn the offense. Um, sometimes, you know, what happens if, if you're thinking about things too much, you can't really, you know, play at your full potential because you're out there thinking. So 
one of the things that he's been doing in, in the off season since he's been back is really taking a great grasp of making sure that he's got a great feel for the offense so that when he comes back physically, I mean, he's not overthinking um, this play or that play. I mean, he's he's ready to go. Um, so I think that's that's the biggest thing that he's doing right now. I mean, physically, he's been doing everything that's asked for him. I think he's a little hungrier. Um, he understands, you know, um, what's expected of him as a pro now. Whereas as sometimes as a rookie, you're trying to, you know, get a feel for your environment and what's going on around you. So, so I expect that that he'll be a lot more on point this year. Did you ask AJ to go bald so he would be more aerodynamic, or so you could have <laughs> someone else in the room without hair? Well, well, we we just, we just kept teasing him on a, a certain aspect of his. Of his uh, of his salad, as we say, with, with his head. So, no, it's, I think it was something that he wanted to do. You know, wanted to have more of a mean, aggressive look, and that's one way to do it. I'll just leave it at that. Stanovich <laughs> <laughs> mentioned the other day the possibility of more two back sets. How, how exciting is that for you? Do you kind of know you shape that? Well, I mean, it, it's um, no, we've done it uh, done it in the past. Um, you know, whether it was starting off when we had Jamal and both Aaron. And it really comes down to trying to get um, some of your best best players on the field at the same time. But it's but at the same time, you have to be uh, confident that they can handle um, what it is that you're putting them through, or what assignments or schemes that you have them involved with. And I think now uh, the big thing was that with uh, particularly with a guy like Aaron, I mean now he's such a vet, you know, that he understands and he's been in this offense now going on four years. Um, now we we feel much more confident that we can put them in certain situations. But I think it really just comes down to trying to get some of your best football players on the field. And I'm excited about it, of course, as as the running back coach.